Hello everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be going from Ketchum to Boise with uh, 41,190 pounds of Gimson board. We're using the Transcraft Eagle flatbed trailer and the Peterbilt 389. Got the N14 Cummins in it with a Eaton Fuller 18 speed. 800 horsepower and we're using engine sound mod from Z mods his N14 engine sounds so sounds pretty damn good we got 141 miles to go so let's go ahead and get started on this trip ready to roll we'll put the brake off and see if we can get out of here I thought I was ready, but I guess what? <laughs> I'm assuming we can go around this way and loop back around and get out. Yeah, it looks like we can. slow on that shift. Really? You're going to do a 20 and a 35. Get ready to turn left. We're not turning left turn there. Left. We're going to go straight and then we're turning left. I'm not going to make 15 turns kind of stupid. Excuse me, car. Impatient. Finding a new route. I'll find 
find a new route. Turn left. I totally Go cut that car up. off. The limo. I've been doing, but doing good, wonderful. I hope everything's good on my end. <laughs> Playing a little bit of American Truck Simulator. End of the day, we usually do. you see for this truck you can find on the on popular mod websites and SES forums and Steam on. Workshop and they're all free so get ready to turn right turn right come on now Some of these parts come from different trucks too, so they're not all 389s. Some of the parts come from the other trucks, like the Freightliner Classic and trucks like that. Just something I kind of just took them all, threw them together, and that's what they ended up with. Up, upload the whole thing as a pack but I don't have permission to use the parts from other mods and I don't want to have to go through the hassle of trying to get permission because you got to put up with the babies that go oh you stole this part do 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 it's like yeah I'm not even going to deal with it sure if you Google search the part you'll be able to find it. This is just a standard SCS software. SCS is uh, 389 Peterbilt. Nothing special. Just a few modifications.
Not too heavy of a load, 41,000 pounds. Always hit the wrong button. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. I don't want this shit to get wet. It won't be beautiful. Yeah, you can find this engine sound on the Steam Workshop. Z mods N14. Custom engine sound. This trailer can be found in popular mod websites. Whichever one you use, pretty sure it's going to be on there. the option you can either have painted or you can have it all chrome or you can have just part of it chrome and like the boards all wood and no metal runners I, I chose the painted I painted it the same as the truck so so it'll match go straight on let's stop off here and get a little go-go juice Probably enough to get there, but better be safe than sorry. Let's get the hell out of here. Really? Fucking retarded ass cement truck. Obviously can't shift worth this shit today. Get ready to turn right. Turn right.
tried to find a dash that had like the chrome buttons and full gauges, but the only one, the only truck that I know that has that's the Roland, Joel Colin's Roland Peterbilt. But I don't know if I'll pay $105 for an accessories. Sorry, but not, it's not me. Now, if it was like 20 bucks or 30, I could see, yeah, but I'm not, no. I wouldn't pay over $50 for it. He basically just took a whole bunch of other people's mods and threw them together and animated them and then now he's selling it. I'm sure if I dug around enough I could probably find most of the mods that he has in his Roland 389 on the web, my websites and the forums. This is where we turn. This is where it ends. Where the hell is this place? They make trailer houses or what? Let's see if we can get this beast in there. for much more than that. I like this truck. 133, 143 miles, 4 hours, 48 minutes, 32 gallons of fuel, $6,772, level 38 and a half. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.